Magandang umaga, mga kamarites. Ano ang latest? Isang nakakagulat na balita na naman ang mapapanood natin ngayon kung saan ay viral at trending ngayon sa mundo ng social media ang di umanay balitang kumpirmado ang resulta ng paglalagay ni PRRD ng mga bagong COMELEC, Commissioner at COMELEC Chairman ay nakabuti. Ayon sa senador na nag-iimbestiga para sa malinis na election sa darating na 2022 national election. Ilan kasi sa mga di umanoy, pandaraya ay lumalabas na dahil sa pagkakaroon ng transparency ng mga bagong namumuno sa COMELEC. Malinaw pa sa sikat ng araw ang investigasyon na mayroon nga di umanong hindi karapat dapat na pangyayari o labag sa pangako nitong malinis na halalan. Halimbawa na nga dito ay ang pagdiskobre na paglalabas ng laptop ng isang empleyado ng Commission on Election or ng COMELEC at pagbibigay ng data sa si isang grupo. Kaya naman naging suggestion na nga lang ni Robin Padilla na wala daw di umano munang election hanggat may nakikitang pandaraya sa Smartmatic at COMELEC. Pinatunayan naman ni Attorney Glensio na mayroon ngang dahil Ayaan dati sa Smartmatic at Comelec kasabwat ang mga kandidatong iilan partikular na nangyari sa Bicol Region itong Maritis Latest na pinuputakti ngayon ng samot saring komento mula sa marami sa ating mga kababayan at marami nga sa kanila ngayon ang hindi napigilan ang kanilang sarili na maglabas ng kanilang hinaing at komento sa mundo ng social media pero bago ang full update mga kamarites kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel ay huwag mo nang kalimutan mag-subscribe at pakiclick na rin ng notification bell para mas magiging updated ka pa lalo sa lahat pa ng bagong kamarites video video na ia-upload namin at yun na nga mga kamarites ito ang latest narito ang buong balita na inilabas mismo ng The Manila Times sa kanilang official website Comelec admits breach in Smartmatic system the commission on election on Thursday admitted that Smartmatic operation was breached when one of its employees allowed the group to copy its data Senator said Senate President Vicente Tito Soto III and Senator Maria Emelda Josefa Aimee Marcos, Aquilino Coco, Pimentel III, and Cynthia Villar learn about the security range during an executive season with some COMELEC official. Marcos, chairman of the Committee on Electoral Reforms, lead a public hearing on COMELEC's preparation for the May 2022 polls. They also held an executive season on the Ligue Data branch of COMELEC Data Service. Soto, who is running for vice president in the elections in May, deplored the failure of our election gatekeepers to ensure the integrity of the elections. In our meeting today, it became clear that there was a range in the Smartmatic system. For now, there is no indication that the COMELEC system has been compromised, Soto said in a statement. It is unfortunate, too, that the full body did not immediately ask for an executive season of the GCOC Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on the Automated Election System when the wrench happened there's ended was a security wrench in a Smartmatic operation, Marcos told reporters in a chance interview after the public hearing Smartmatic has reportedly conducted its own probe on the matter that offers to be clear in while it is being investigated for Ordered by both the NBI, National Bureau of Investigation, the CICC, Cybercrime Investigation, and Coordinating Center, the National Privacy Commission, and other groups, we have to admit that a very serious breach occurred. She said, Soto said, that an employee of Smartmatic brought out a laptop and allowed a certain group to copy some data. Marcus cited a Facebook 
post which enumerated the information supposedly stolen just as a comic leader of his picture contact person and personal information about Paul personnel. She said comic officials described the stolen data as old but Marcos is still voiced concern considering the degree the depth and breadth of data that's being released and is still publicly available as far as we know Sota said the people right to an honest and credible election is enshrined in the constitution in the common law is taxed to ensure that the result of the election are not tainted with doubt and especially that the conduct of the electoral exercise was not attended by anomalies. He said Comelec should have been more forthright with this information which is critical to the election but instead it have an issue a gag order on Smartmatic which subsequently refused to cooperate with our investigative agencies were happy that this hearing has finally brought to light what we have been asking from Comelec and the various investigative agencies for the past several hearings so to said sadly this information had been with these agencies since January and despite several attempts to obtain them all we have been given was a run around. We are happy that with the assumption of the new chairman and commissioner, the Comelec will now take a more transparent and provocative stance in the conduct of his this election, he added the Senate chief sought another public hearing on the reported Comelec security branch to determine its effect on the May election. Sato asked the Comelec why it is allowed representative of the candidate political parties in non-government organization from witnessing its printing of official ballots and other activities and preparation for the May 9 polls. This is very crucial as far as the issue of transparency is concerned, Soto said. Comelec officials apologized and cited the COVID-19 situation as the reason for the prohibition. They said they have rectified their actions and have allowed observation Servers in the ballot printing, Soto called on the Comelec to adapt increased transparency and vote security measures as recommended by our various IT information technology experts, election watchdogs, and other AES stakeholders. It is of vital informants that this national election be thoroughly safeguarded and the public is assured that the true will of the people is protected he said and ko matapos nga ang naging balita nito ay umani agad ng samot saring komento mula sa marami sa ating mga kababayan at marami nga sa kanila ngayon ang hindi napigilan ang kanilang sarili na maglabas ng kanilang hinaing at komento sa mundo ng social media at isa pa nga di umano dito si Robin Padilla kung saan ay ayon nga di umano sa kanya ay hinto or itigil muna ang nasabing election kung hindi pa di umano siguradong magiging patas at 100% na malinis ang 2022 national election ayon nga di umano sa kanyang naging pahayag Robin Padilla posted Bismillahi postpone the election ipagpaliban muna ang election kung magiging esyo lamang ang dayaan at sisiyan napakahirap sa mananalo ang pagdudahan kailan kaya makakausad ang inang bayang Pilipinas sa sumpa ng Tijeros kawawang mga Pilipino magkaisa na muna sa pangalan ng pagligtas sa inang bayan extend the term of the president, vice president lawmakers and local official, constitutional convention, constitutional congress or constitutional assembly, ship to federal parliamentary tsaka tayo mag election let us bring and give dignity to our election nag-iisa itong kapangyarihan
ng taong bayan. Let us protect it we are a republic. Let us act like at Glenshong sa wakas na huli rin ang sindikatong Comelec at Smartmatic patunay ng dayaan gamit ang vote cheating machine. Ang mga larawang ito ay page 1 at 2 ng 3-page revision report sa clustered presence no 66 mula sa barangay Estee Cruz, Calabanga, Camarinesor binabuksan ng House of Representatives Electoral Tribunal sa kasong HRET case no 19-0015 Velia Forte v. Vordadu ang 100 ballots box mula sa 3rd district ng Camarinesor noong 6-15 December 2021 Ito ang report ng mga tauan ng HRET at kinatawan ni na Rep. Velia Forte at Rep. Bordadu na pawang pumerma sa bawat page ng revision report na ito ayon sa kanila official na silyado ang ballot box at walang palatandaan ng tampering ng mga balota at election documents sa loob nito ayon din sa kanila hindi nagtugma ang resulta na inimprenta ng VCM sa physical na balota sa loob ng ballot box sa Rep. Vordado ay dinagdaga ng 176 votes samantalang si Ralph Villafuerte naman ay binawasan ng 296 votes si Photo Page 2 hindi nga nagtugma ang printed election return at ang mga physical na balota at boto ng magkatunggaling kandidato ito ang matibay na evidensya ng automated dagdag bawas ng Smartmatic Vote Cheating Machine dagdag pa makikita natin sa dokumentong ito sa habang 327 votes ang binilang at ini-report ng VCM para sa rape bordado 151 lang pala ang physical na balota na may boto para sa kanya nagmagic ang VCM ng dagdag na 176 votes pero walang kaakibat na balota sa Ansere Bordado pwedeng humugot ng boto at posibleng paliwanag sa discrepancy na ito sagot sa stray ballots big problem for him dahil 12 lang ang stray ballots worse makikita rin natin sa report na ito na ang total claim ni Rep Bordado sa stray ballots ay 7 lamang contested pa ni Rep Bellaforte ang 3 ballots dahil ibinoto silang dalawa and short walang mahugutan ng boto at walang explanation si Rep Bordado kung bakit may dagdag siyang 176 na boto na wala namang balota na nagpapatunay nito. Ito ay isang revision report malamang converting one ballot box mula sa bayan ng Kalabanga kung saan 75 ballot box ang pinabuksan ng HR. ET all in all si Rep Bella Forte ay binawasan ng 13,213 votes habang si Rep Bordado naman ay dinagdagan ng 7,738 votes gamit ang 75 vote cheating machine sa bayan ng Kalabanga Camarinesor i-post ko rin ang certified true copy ng iba pang revision reports na tulad nito as much as I upang makita ninyo ang smoking gun ng dayaan ng sindikatong Comelec at Smartmatic. Up to this moment, walang sagot ang sindikato sa mga ebidensyang ito. Holing holy sila. End quote. Ano na mga kamarites? Nagustuhan mo ba ang bagong latest update? Well, ano pa ang inaantay mo? Click mo na ang like at ishare mo na din ang video ito para mas marami pang makalam sa mga kamarites video na ito.